I want to say something because this is a very um, understandable reaction, no? Um, but supposing, because as I said, the mind in its psychological approach to you, to deceive and to, to you know, cunningly distract you, or so, so to speak, no? Is there anything good about it or not? Yes. Let me carry on. In the sense that mm, it can only attack or intimidate the idea you have of who you are, your self image. It cannot attack and transcend what you truly are, because what you truly are is pure awareness. It has no second, it has no competitor. You see? Uh, the devil, as we say, is no match for God, you know. It's not like you know there's God and the devil. The devil is something much, much lower. God means supreme consciousness. So if this force, which we call the mind, has a certain range within which it can operate, and that range is when the consciousness that is appearing in human aspect, yeah, believes itself uh, to be the person it thinks itself to be, yes? and um, uh, the dreamer, the pr pursuing things which are perishable, thinking itself to be great, thinking itself to be nothing, all of these things that we go through, isn't there a place for the mind? The mind is going to keep biting at this one. No, you're not good enough. You're not this, you're not that. He bites, 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 bites. And its biting compels you to go to higher ground, where you are free from his molestation. Higher ground means to become in such a way to a place where you are above and beyond the range of his attack. And that place can only be your true self. Then would you prefer if in the state of personhood, a state of delusion, there was nothing to threaten it, so you would just continue living in your dreams and your delusions and there's nothing to challenge that. You see where I'm going with that? So to some extent the mind is, uh, is not trying to help you, that's not his role. Hmm? He's trying to defeat you as, for as long as you take yourself seriously as a person. We must understand something, no? because very often when uh, a great m moment of seeing, some profound seeing take place of this nature, I often, you may have heard me say, a storm is coming. What is this storm? To test your seeing, it's going to come. And uh, we often experience like, whoa, it's like, you know, something is compelling you to act from the person, to live from the person, to feel attacked as the person, you see? But you have to remember, but uh, even the strongest storm is still only a movement in the unmoving awareness itself. And can anything be so strong that it blows away not just your conviction, but your proof of seeing? And that's how you will be tested. Otherwise, Maybe you leave and you just become a bit complacent. I've done it. Top of the world. But something comes and shakes your this mighty oak is shaking. Branches are breaking off like this. So you what is to what's to be done? Maybe something feels now that I've conquered the mind and know I am, that's the end of things. Uh, from now plain sailing. I can book my place in heaven, everything is fine. But somehow the storm comes. And the storm comes what? You make, it's up to you to see that the storm comes to weaken you or to strengthen you. You choose, you see. The storm comes, it's tell you, know, yeah, you didn't really do it, and you know, you're about to lose everything. Everything you have, you are going to lose now. And you say, well, who is it speaking to? What's left of you 
for the mind to be intimidating. Then he's still showing that perhaps here and there you have your little stash hide out someplace, and he's going to blow those up. You're looking, oh, oh, yeah, and you have a chance to see, ah, yes, this can be seen. You see? And in the earlier talk we had just now, something got left out. I'm reminded of it now. It is like, if you have really seen, why should the mind be coming and this type of thing? And you know, these things are still being, the mind is still coming. Yes, it's fine, the mind is coming. He still has last work to do. He swept the floor, cl the floor clean now. Now the floor is clean, he's about to dust the mirrors also. Hmm? He has to sort of shake out the curtains and everything. You see? Don't worry about it, let him stay. He cannot stay longer than you. You are not staying, you are here. He is a visitor, he can only come and go. So like this, you are, you are using all these things to, to clarify just how, how perfect the Self is, actually. It is not… Uh, it doesn't have anything it's attached to, to protect attachments. Now, that may sound a bit cold, but you know, my attachments mean that I care. Is there anything caring more for the world, for the universes, than the Self? If we started to dig a hole here with a big machine and we go right, right down to the centre of this planet, you may find some creature moving there. He puts it there and provides also some means through which it can live and enjoy its existence also. How much more taking care of you, who have within you the capacity to introspect and to contemplate, to meditate, to discover, you see? We, as much as we are too much locked into our own self-image, we are blind to the truth of who we are. You know? Something brought you here, and in this environment is intensely focused on the looking at what we are not and to try and see what we are. I put that to be the, the most auspicious discovery possible in the human kingdom, a human being awake. You see, there have been many, many so-called great human beings, you know, Napoleon, Bonaparte, Alexander the Great, all these beings, where are they? What does the world remember? The ones who are awake, because they are alive by spirit. Uh, the Buddha was uh, 2,500, 600 years ago. Today, uh, there are new Buddhists joining the order. Christ, 2,000 years, 100 years ago, there's still many Christians are coming. The Holy Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad, still more Muslims are coming. Why is this like this? It cannot just be on dry mental teachings. There must be a force inside, a spiritual force, that touches the heart of a human being and let them flower into that beauty that never fade, that one. That power is in you. That is your true Self and your power. And this life is for finding that. And this is what is happening. More and more you are seeing, ah, for so long I thought I was this one, you know, losing and finding and getting and, you know, all of these things, accumulating, afraid, trying to protect. And I see that within my own Self, not from somewhere else, within the same body, it's flowering a deeper understanding of life. And I feel still, when I've surpassed that old identity, I feel more me. Yes. Like the less you are, the more you are. What a paradox! You're a bit afraid, no, 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 if I take that risk, I'm becoming more empty, I don't want to be empty. And then, but something encourages you, and you somehow find that, whoa, 
more emptiness and oh it is so beautiful everything is so beautiful even why because this whatever this is is the, the very source of beauty you see we value things because we value uh, some things that has quality and so on that's fine nothing is wrong with anything in the world paramatma made all of them no but to be attached to them and to feel that they make you better wiser that is not true yes by all means we can enjoy there's beauty uh, the, the supreme has made uh, somehow the world beautiful for the eyes of all those who live on this planet you see not just for human beings you know a cow has also some things find beautiful and worms also find some things beautiful maybe not the same beauty also and so unique also so all this is not because you look you know ah no it's not important you look even at a fly a fly the most excellent of, of that's why it's called a fly he fly is okay. yes. he lives on poo <laughs> and if you watch a fly you see him you know clean look at some things hardly you can see them with your naked eye under a microscope they are full of color iridescent beautiful something is here that says it's beautiful it's beautiful and your eyes become more and more able to perceive the beauty when your heart is clean clean of arrogance and clean of ego like that this happening also by itself it's happening just sitting here actually with open heart open mind and somehow seeing how the pointings are resonating somewhere within yourself and all this is changing the quality of your perceiving is changing the yes. the, the joy inside you is heightening what are you doing <coughs> understanding is the key also it shows you your true position all this trouble is caused by living in the wrong position believing ourselves to be the li li the limited sense of personhood or ego when you are also the immensity as the pure self so this we say we come here not just to talk about but to discover and to prove it also you have outgrown um, some more you know more aggressive tendencies uh, because the ego has subsided you know the the reactions have softened not necessary there's a detachment in you so it's like uh, you're not taking things so personally yes uh, these are great signs great signs uh, that uh, the ego defensiveness is melting yes there's something much much more broad than that it doesn't mean you don't have feelings does not mean that there's some things you will feel and surprisingly also sometimes uh, but your emotions will become uh, purified not just reactionary you see so there's more wisdom more stability yeah uh, it's it's transcended is good term it means that you're not so if you are a very emotional person people can upset you very easily they just have to say a certain thing and they just watch they see how much you 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 go off on that one but now there's a natural distance it's not even there there's not even time to take distance as it happens you are already yes still spontaneous you see it may be earlier you may find that somebody say something and you feel <gasps> one two three four you know and now not even this is needed not even count back Uh, they say and it's like wow <laughs> that's different i used to this would i would not let that pass in the past now that's past yes There's something is just here and that is the spaciousness that is the self uh, before someone throw a stone and it's like bang you blood and uh, now it's like they're throwing a stone from underneath the water and you're seeing us and look at that <laughs>
It's very good. It's very good. And it will continue becoming even more uh, refined without any cynicism. Yeah, some, something sees that. And uh, it's, I, I can't tell you how great it is. It's very good. It's very good. And you are much more free also. You are more spacious. Because you would not have liked it when, as someone goes, ping, you go, pong. You know, some people were very sharp. You are, they're not giving you one inch. You do this and that. You see? But uh, and then they feel good. They feel you know, you're not getting on top of me, mate. You know, sort of stuff. No? But now you can say, yeah, they can do something is uh, different. That doesn't mean that there won't be a re reaction that catches you. But it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. No problem. There's so much more space in you for that. <laughs> Yes. So much more space. It was beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sometimes you look inside, you cannot see where can a reaction come from? Where would anger come from? Who is there to be angry even about that? You may find even that come. But uh, also, this is a living body, a living spirit is inside. Don't make any set or premature conclusions about anything. Because something can feel like this today, tomorrow it feels a bit like this. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay with. It. Don't try to, you know, control the world. Let it flow. Something is taking care of it, and you move at that level. Very good. Some things happen in life that they happen so powerful that you don't have time to learn. Instantly you are changed. Some, the impact of some experience is so powerful, you don't have time to grow. Instantly you are changed. But we really will ask for that type of grace. You see? So God in God's wisdom gives it to you. You see, so quick, bang! It's already you're you're in a new, fresh place, higher place also. <laughs> <laughs>